Alright y'all, let's get moving. I'm about to put my clothes on. I am here, it is. It is currently, um, y'all probably can't see that. It is 3.58. Don't wanna freaking be here. I wanted to stay in the dang gone bed. Like, oh, I was so mad last night when we got here and there was all these people here. But we was thinking maybe it's people that get off at 11 o'clock that came to the gym. Let me turn this camera around. Yeah. The music loud today. Hold on. The music, though. It's like sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's not. It's kind of irritating, but oh well. Let me go stretch and get this cardio in for today so I can go home and go to bed. Baby, your girl did not want to be here today. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to be here, but I push, push, push through it. And I think I need to go light with the jump rope in because my knee has been hurting. So I'm going to lay off on that for, let me get down another 10 pounds or so. Um, and then kind of go from there because it was hurting bad. So here I am getting ready to hit the treadmill. And I did the treadmill at a 3 incline and a 35 um, speed. So let me do that and we shall move on to the next. I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. today or well, new to this journey this is the stair stepper yeah guys i knew this was going to be something that was a little different but i wanted to change up my cardio so you just get seeing me get started on this machine and let's do some work on it i'm gonna try to push myself to do five minutes so i got three more minutes and i'm gonna stop and show you in three minutes i'm gonna do it slower but i'm not gonna give up even if it's hard, I'm going to try to at least give myself five minutes to do it. And this is hard as hell. But I'm going to try to do three more minutes. figure out these machines all machines work different and I'm trying to figure out for my body so that I can incorporate different cardio but let's speed this up and get to that So what I'm doing is 
20 seconds, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, start again. It's crazy because today on, I really, really on. felt the burn. So like the sweating time. and everything. If you notice, time. I really didn't have to bring my towel much and I wasn't glistening like this, but I know that I'm giving my body a great workout today. And yeah, I'm in pain from the muscles working even more than they are usually, but I'm gonna push. I had to mix ooh, my lips. I had to mix my cardio up. So me and mom are getting ready to go in and get our massages. All right, y'all. We'll talk to y'all later, and I'll show you my burn. For today, let me stop it. Hold on. I went 14 minutes and 523. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Real and Sam's. They had some good smelling stuff all through there. You smell that stuff? Baked goods, all types of stuff. I was like, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's all I kept thinking. Then a the lady asked us to try something. A guy asked me to try something he had over there. I'm like, oh my gosh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't. I must stay focused. My mouth tastes like earth right now. <laughs> like, yeah, earth. Like, it tastes like nothing. Um, I hate this taste in my mouth, but yeah, that's what's going on with me. I'm shopping, grocery shopping, and even though I am feeling a little hungry, I am doing good with not putting just anything in my cart, so that is a good thing. Um, that uh, grocery haul will be coming up. I bought a lot of um, things for the house that we ran out of stuff for the kids, but I also bought all my little healthy snacks and stuff I need. We headed to Walmart, Aldi's, and Wegmans if I don't find any good salmon. So, yep. Yeah, you guys will see that. But I just wanted to stop and let y'all know. Grocery shopping, doing OMAD or IF or whatever you want to call it, it's a struggle because everything looks good. You want to just throw everything in the cart. But, yeah. Started eating. Oh my gosh, ranch with um celery. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I couldn't help it. But longer this within my window. I tried this shot. Oh my gosh, this meat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I tried a piece of that. I'm gonna get a couple of these. Salmon with um, spinach, fresh spinach, and some mashed potatoes for dinner. So that's what we're having. So it's gonna be a honey glazed, like brown sugar honey glazed salmon with like a smoke flavor to it. So I'm getting ready to get this prepared, put it in the pan, and just let it marinate for at least a 30, 30 minutes to an hour, and then put it in the oven. And I glaze it as it cooks, so the glaze is nice and thick on top of it. So that's what I'm having for dinner, and you guys will see my dinner. My husband and I wrap before dinner because dinner is going to be about an hour away. So I'm about to make a wrap with some hella good cheese. This is what I want on mine. And some romaine, some turkey meat, and some mayo, and a little bit of this Italian zest. So, yep. So now I'm about to wrap these up. Don't these look so good, y'all? About to grab the glaze. So that's going to be cooked just before it's time to put it on. And that's going to go on top. But the salmon is real thick right now. But it's going to cook and, like, you know, get more thinner so I can put it on the salmon. Mm. This is so freaking good. Yeah, this is good. My taste buds is wanting so much stuff that's just better. And this flaxseed bread. Yeah. It was a go. 
And how many you get in it? Six. It's not bad. This is a go. It didn't taste like I thought it would. It tastes better than I thought. So, y'all should try these flatbread multi grain with flaxseed. Mm. I'm eating a bowl of the honey banana nut. I mean, banana nut um, Cheerios. And they're not bad. So, the only thing else I will eat is my salmon, a little bit of mashed potatoes. Uh, um, spinach for dinner which you guys will see but like I said I want to share everything I eat with you guys um, because like I said with the OMAD if you're new to this or don't know about it you have a certain window to try to eat your calories so mm -mm. Mm. this banana materials are not bad I think I like the regular ones better I wanted to get my raisin bran, but I've seen this. They're not bad, but I prefer the regular ones. Or um, I think the straw. I do like the strawberry. I do like the apple cinnamon, but I overall the the regular ones. All right, this is my last. Oh, and I'm drinking some tea, but I don't have a lot at all. Some mango tea that my husband makes. I haven't had that in almost two weeks. So I'm drinking a little bit of that as well. All right, y'all. Salmon is going in the oven. And I got just a little bit left to um, put on if um, I feel like, you know, it needs more. So, but usually it doesn't. I like to boil it first. Not boil it, but bake it a little bit first so I can get all this fat stuff out of it. I don't know what this stuff is that's in these fish nowadays, but... I um, baked all that out and got as much of it out of the pan as I could, and that's it. It's going in the oven. Got my butter and olive oil, like just a little bit of buttery taste in my spinach, and I'm going to be taking some garlic and letting that get um, a little roasted, and then start putting my spinach in. I don't season my spinach till last minute, so I'm just gonna roast this a little bit. And we are doing the. I call them the cheater, um, the cheater, uh, mashed potatoes. Hold on. Yes, yes. We're doing the cheater mashed potatoes. I'm not going to be making the homemade ones. And I told y'all those are, um, actually liked more by Rizzy than the homemade ones, which is weird. I don't know. Okay, we having weird touch buds. So, I'm just going to roast it. And then I'm going to start some water for the mashed potatoes because the salmon don't take long. And then you will see my plate. So this was our dinner and it was so tasty. Would you believe my mother-in-law has never had salmon? I was like, are you serious? She has never had salmon. And I was like, okay, going to make some glazed salmon. And see if you like it. And she enjoyed it and we all enjoyed our dinner. It is day number nine and as you see it's still light outside i'm trying to get in the bed early so i don't feel like i'm rushing or feeling like i didn't get enough sleep so hopefully i will be asleep by nine o'clock because it's like a little weather seven and i'm going to eat this bomb pot I might still eat it oh oh why did i do that <laughs> why did i do that open that rizzy i tried to you know how you squish yeah. it down and the in the the stick went into it <laughs> Um, so I'm going to eat that bomb pop. It's a Hawaiian punch bomb pop. I'm going to tear that up. That's going to be the last thing I eat. And then it's back to my water until I um, turn mm, Hold this up right here. Back to my water until tomorrow. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? Mm. Oh, this bomb pop is a bomb. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One of my sis, I can't remember who it was, they get popsicles. So I got me some popsicles for my sweet craving because like i said after i eat something salty i just have to have something sweet so yeah i got two different popsicles and i showed y'all those i should have showed y'all those well y'all won't see them into the hall but oh gosh i just want to mutilate the popsicle oh mm, it's melting i'm sorry y'all today was pretty good um didn't have too many cravings I didn't start really feeling like I really, really need to eat so it was time to put the food up. And I really felt like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah. 
So, um, I did pretty good. I had the, thank you for being my tripod. I had the, I had like two pieces of celery with ranch. I had a piece of, um, that meat. Then I did a wrap, which, um, I cut in half. So it was two halves. And then I had my dinner, my salmon, mashed potato and glazed salmon. I mean, say, glazed salmon, mashed potatoes and spinach. What am I thinking? Then I had a ginger ale and that was it. So I'm eating my bomb pot. And I'm going to be drinking my a water for the rest of the night until tomorrow afternoon between no earlier than 4.30, no later than like 7, 8 will I be eating. Um, so, yeah, that's my day. Um, everything went pretty cool today. I thank you guys for the support. And remember, this is my journey. If you are new to my channel, you won't realize that I am like I literally personal train like that's what I do I just fell off and life happened so I know what I need to do but I have to take kind of a maneuvering way to get it to where I need to when it comes to food when it comes to exercise and everything I kind of go with the flow that works for me so what may work for you may not work for me my portion sizes what I eat and all that may be a little bit different um, when it comes to meat and protein I would rather eat more protein or have a bigger size a protein than a big fat piece of cake you feel what I'm saying it's transitioning is doing better till you get to the point where all your portions or whatever is a certain size and as a matter of fact to be honest with you um, when I lost all of the weight and, and all my clients lost their weight strictly fitness and eating it'll all come together it'll all come together a lot of people that are new may not understand they just think I'm just on this journey not realizing that yeah, life happened and I'm trying to get my life together and get me physically fit, get my skin back in order, get my health back in line. And this is the way I'm doing it by sharing my journey. I'm sharing this. This is something that I don't have to do, but I want to do because I know that there's a lot of people out there who's in my same situation that feel like they're getting older and they always say, oh, the older you get, you can't lose weight as hard as this, that, and the third. No. So I'm going to share everything, what I put in my mouth, my cravings, my downfalls, my everything, because you still going to see me shine and still see me come out on top getting this weight off, getting this body tone and getting healthy the right way that I want to do it. You feel what I'm saying? So that's kind of where I'm at. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for everything. My popsicle is going to melt. But I kind of was, you know, giving you little tidbits all throughout the day. And what, that's what I want to start doing instead of doing a big confession. If I can, if it's something I missed, then I'll put it in this confession. But yeah, stay tuned for day number 10. And y'all, that is going to be two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. All right, y'all. I love you guys. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you share. And make sure if you did not realize I had another channel. It's an inspiration channel. Channel. I load a lot of daily early morning inspiration so you can go check that out the link is below it's the CPR vibe and I will see you guys later gators